If you're expanding your business into the water restoration industry, there's many different factors and variables you need to consider. So the top pieces of equipment that you'd be looking for in water restoration are gonna be, of course, really good dehumidifiers, good air scrubbers, air movers, and moisture meters. Every water restoration professional is going to need a good moisture meter to find out where the moisture is so they can come up with a plan to extract the moisture from the environment. When you tear down walls in an environment, if there's mold remediation going on, anything that can damage your breathing, you want to take out of the air as soon as possible. So you need a really good, strong industrial air scrubbers with a lot of CFMs to catch the mold before it goes throughout your environment. It's going to, of course, you know, protect your crew and uh, anybody who happens to be around. A lot of the air scrubbers can also be used as negative air pressure solutions as well. So of course, the foundational solution in water restoration is going to be the industrial dehumidifier. And you want to invest your money in something that you feel is going to be with you long term. The vast majority of dehumidification solutions on the market that are refrigerant based have a problem getting water out of the air at less than 60 degrees. So when you look at having to do a significant amount of dehumidification at less than 60 degrees, you really want to start looking at LGR solutions. LGR stands for low grain refrigerant. And basically what that means is, is going to be much more successful at taking water out of the air at less than 60 degrees. So another important piece of equipment is going to be the air mover. The air movers are used in conjunction with the dehumidifiers and they're gonna help you, you know, extract the water from like under floors and behind walls. So there are a lot of different types of air movers on the market now and the technology has improved dramatically over the last 10 years. So a lot of the equipment that you're gonna see in the water restoration industry is gonna look like plastic. Red dehumidifiers and blue dehumidifiers and air movers. Actually the terminology is roto molding. It's a process that they utilize to create very durable type plastic. So it's uniform throughout. There's no like weak spots or thin spots. They're really good for low temperature and high temperature. And in particular, when you have water restoration equipment, you're gonna be going from job to job and you're gonna be pulling stuff off trucks and the roto molded type plastic is going to be much more durable and resistant to scratches and dents than steel. And it just makes the, the equipment last much longer. So what is daisy chaining? Daisy chaining enables you to use multiple pieces of equipment off of one outlet. Sometimes when you go into an environment, you're not gonna have outlets in every room and every space that you wanna put your equipment. So daisy chaining enables you to utilize one outlet for multiple pieces of equipment. And when they're stackable, it helps prevent damage to the equipment as you're moving your vehicles around. So there's a lot of different solutions and brands out there in the market in the water restoration industry. Uh, if you have additional questions or if you're looking for a specific equipment, you know, just give us a call or email us. We'd love to help you out. Thank you so much for watching this video and good luck.